now from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Cleveland Guardians. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And starting in this one, Grayson Rodriguez. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got him swinging. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And here is Jay Allen. And a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Tim Lettieri, the next to hit for the Reds. They're now two balls and a strike. Next offering is outside. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else. Fires to second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Next to hit, Jake Fraley. Lettieri off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. One and two. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, and that drops foul. And a pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. Three. Got him looking. Fastball at the letters, throws him for strike three. Reds leave one. Now the Guardians will get their shot, still scoreless. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Cleveland, and today's starting pitcher, Nick Lodolo. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. And a 1-2. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. 
Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The wind of the pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes a nice running catch. That's out number two. Let's take a look at our lineup. And in an era with a lot of strikeouts, they are right on trend, Chris. A lot of swig and miss in this lineup. And they come in with more strikeouts than any other team in the league right now. Well, clearly they're looking to connect and hit the ball a long way. But at some point, you've got to shorten up. And you'd like to see guys do it, especially when they're having a hard time scoring runs with two strikes. Maybe spread out a little bit, choke up the bat, and just try to put the ball in play. There's a good chance that you'll find a hole and maybe get something going that way. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Runner at first with two away. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Ball on a strike. Ball. Two balls, one strike. And that's outside. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Left hand hitter waits. So now two on and two outs. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now it's Tom Murphy. The pitch. Foul ball there. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And here it comes. Out to short, Lettieri. Rolls across the diamond. That ends the inning. Guardians strand a couple, scoreless after one. Here in Cleveland, top of the second, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. And the right-hander deals. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond, and quickly one away in the second. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough, got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And now it's going to be Michelle Triana. Knocked in all three of their runs yesterday. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. In now for the Reds, Luis Barrera. And a count one and two. And the righty deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Bottom half of inning number two, stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. All right, so you hit lefty. 
What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have... This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Now he launches a throw over his head. He's been swinging it really well lately. Punched that one down the line for extra bases, and that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside. Got his bat on plane and just drove. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Oscar Gonzalez will hit next. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Here's Josh Bell. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. 1-1 one, one now. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Quan, the lead runner out at second. Gonzalez at first with no outs. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's the third baseman, John Kenzie Noel. All eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and two. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, so the batting order turns over. Jason Dominguez, the next to hit, let off the game with a strikeout. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch misses outside. The count now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back on to the third the inning. Back. And now, Spencer baseman. Steer. Spencer Steer. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Throws to second. The tag, and they cut him down, going for two. Here's the Reds catcher, Ryan Dobson, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just now missed his out. spot. Hitter didn't offer hitter. at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Valdez. And next is the designated hitter, Javier Valdez. To third. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. And he's got a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Next for Cincinnati, Jay Allen. Here's a 1 1. Good eye right there. Missing inside, three and one. Tim Lettieri to bat next. Next pitch is popped up. Drops into the glove, two away down. 
Well, that's a frustrating at bat right there. A big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. Tim Lettieri, the next to hit for the Reds. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. On the ground at first. Oh, and it hits the base. That's a hit. One runs in. The second run scores. And they lead by two. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Two outs. Runner on first. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. And now the count is even. Lettieri, the runner at first with two gone. Here's a rocket out to left. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Reds two and the Guardians nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. This to center field. A little bloop single. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And a ball and two strikes on the ground right side. And that's just foul. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Puts it away for the out. Now bad. Here's Shohei Otani. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The 2-1. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it hits the fence. Throw cut off, now to the plate. In there, he scores. And it's a one-run game. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So here's Murphy now. Grounded out his first time. It's a bullet, but it goes foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Rip to third. Slings it across. Now two out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Doubled in his first A.B. And now it's one and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 
Otani stands at second with two gone. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz. The 1-1. One, one. De La Cruz checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And yes, he offered at it. Hey. He goes down looking. No, well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Line drive, base hit. Well, as hot hitting continues, he's been getting great results lately. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Next to hit, double play ball to second. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Spencer Steer getting ready to hit. <whistles> Throw over to first, and he's back in safely. Another throw over, and he's back again. Ball to strike, the pitch. That's hard hit in the line. And that gets down into the gap. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. In now for the Reds, Ryan Dobson. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Falling behind two and one. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Tosses the first, third out, and that ends the frame. Red strand a couple, they lead it 2 1. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. The right fielder. Knocks it down, and he's safe at first. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there, and as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning, make that error hurt. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball at the belt and fires. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And now the lefty, and now it's even up. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. 2-2 two -two on the way. In the dirt, but kept close. Now, 
John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. He's over one. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Jason Dominguez. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That misses off the outside edge. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a swing and a miss there. Gonzalez, the runner at third. Noel over at first with one away. Out towards right center field. He's got it. Here comes the runner from third. Throw home, not in time. The run scores. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Digging in, Ahmed Rosario. The pitch. That one the other way. Steer. Sends it to first. That's out number three. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. We are tied 2-2. All set for the start of the no, inning. No, no. Now it's the DH, the w, the w, the w. Javier Valdez. Javier. Valdez. Here's a 1-2. And yeah, that is, skips yeah. in the dirt. Two two now. Right side. Bell handles the chance. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The right fielder, Jay Allen. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jay Allen. And that one in for a strike, two and two. In the air to left center. And it drops in. So a man aboard now with one away. This is why hitters work so hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting practice. There's a lot of room out there. If you can rip one into that open space, it usually means extra bases. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now Tim Lettieri. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off, two and two. Good eye in that spot. So here we go, base runner at first, could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there, and it hits the top of the wall. Now a relay to the plate, the tag, and he's out. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. 
And that's a base hit. One runs in. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So they get one run, three hits, no errors, and one man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds three and the Guardians two. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Braylon Marquez. On for the 30th time this year. Leading off, Patrick Connolly. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next offering way off the plate, Shohei Otani. Next to bat for Cleveland. Ripped to third and caught. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Shohei Otani. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Next pitch misses, two and one. Just a slow ground ball this time. Letieri whips it to first. Old man for the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Played that ball perfectly, had a good angle on it, and got off the long throw as quickly as he could have. And any more time he takes on that play, it's probably... Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Tom Murphy sent it out. His 13th home run of the season, and this game is tied. It's 3-3. That ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. So two away with nobody on. Steven Kwan now at the plate. Misses inside. Ball three. Two down, nobody on. Line drive, base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Now, Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Josh Bell at the plate now. And a two one on the way. Swing and a miss. Nice change up. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Line drive. Allen makes the grab, and that is the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. This is what I made for. Every single moment that I'm living, I can feel it on the stage. You don't know the half of half of what I've given to me. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Sam Hentges. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. And here's the first baseman, Michelle Triana. The 1-1. One -one. You see the velocity, 97 with that fastball. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Luis Barrera digs in now. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. And yeah, the count, one and two. Stays alive.
Next pitch just misses. And the count is even two and two. This one in the air center field. Dominguez settles underneath it. He's got it. And there's two away. Here's the second baseman, Spencer Steer. Here's a 2 1. Just off the outside part of the plate. And now it's filled up. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Offense held a check there. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. All tied up at three apiece. Bottom of the six. Now the third baseman, John Kenzie Noel. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. Now the center field. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jason Dominguez. On the ground, out to short. Zips it across, and a couple of quick outs. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll. And I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. The throw to first, inning over. The Guardians go down in order. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Here in Cleveland, we go to the top of the seventh. And here's the catcher, Ryan Dobson. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Trevor Steffen will take over here. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. The pitch. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Now, Javier Valdez. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves, knowing that they can miss. Got him looking. The big righty strikes out the side. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Cleveland, and the batter now, Patrick Connelly. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. Seems like from day one, his strike zone and plate discipline looked like he drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one is out of here. They're going crazy in the dugout, and that gives them a lead. It's 4-3.
position early, he saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got out of it. Andrew Abbott taking over on the mound. His first test will be from the left side, and that's been a struggle for him this season. They've been seeing him pretty well and doing some damage against him. Next is the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. The wind and the pitch. That's ball two. Two one now. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. Shohei Otani goes deep, his 34th of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 5-3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it up and knew it was gone. Tom Murphy digs in for the Guardians. He's already homered in this game. And now one and two. And that bunt goes foul. It's a strikeout. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. The wind of the pitch. On the ground right side. Throws to first. And he's out. Now back the right field. And up next for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. That's to third. Tosses across to first, and that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Cleveland Guardians baseball on the show, Ohio. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Clay Holmes. He has a great slider with tons of movement. In now for the Reds, Tim Lettieri. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And a 1-2. He caught it behind his back. Over to first. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Jake Fraley. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And that is cut on and missed. It's a ball and two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. 
Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Check on the runner. Dives back. Oh. Oh. This just can't happen right here. I mean your run really doesn't mean anything unless it's followed by another run and you're able to tie up the ball game. But You've almost got to stay anchored to first base to prevent something like this from happening. And that one is lifted in the air. Gonzalez moves under this one. Brings it in. And that is that. Welcome back. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. The why to kick the pitch. And delivers outside. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Michael Baez loosening up for manager David Bell. The 2-1. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Now batting. Third baseman. And the batter now, John Kenzie Noel. And a pitch. Got him swinging. The center field. Jason Dominguez digs in for the Guardians. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. Gone. An absolute blast to left. His 33rd homer of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 6-3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient. And it paid off. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Michael Baez. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. So up next, Ahmed Rosario. <laughs> On the ground to third. Whips it across, gets him easily, ends the inning. Solo shot for the Guardians this inning. Last chance coming up for the Reds. Emmanuel Classe comes out trying to close it out. He last pitched two days ago. So digging in, Michelle Triana. Now a check swing grounder. Fires over to oh. first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Nice job of deception right there by the pitcher. Got the hitter out there a little bit. Couldn't check his swing and induces a nice little ground out. And now the center fielder, Luis Barrera. And a 1-1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Nice. 
And that's a strikeout looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. So they're down to their final out. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Spencer Steer. The 1-1. And it's fouled away. And that'll do it. The Guardians take the series opener here at home. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.